Hey B Squad, welcome back to my channel, Chrissy B Vlogs. Today I'm coming back to you guys with a video uh, on weight loss, <laughs> um, but kind of like uh, introducing a new product to you guys that I'm going to be trying. This product is not sponsored. I bought it with my own money. I don't have very many subscribers. There, I don't even think a sponsor would want me to would want to pay me for promoting their content at this point. So I just, I know a lot of YouTubers get backlash for um, putting in sponsored stuff, and I just wanted to let you guys know that that's definitely not happening for me right now. <laughs> um, so I have been on a weight loss journey for a little over a month now, and I have been working with some doctors and a nutritionist on my weight loss journey. Kind of what I've mentioned in my last videos and what I have been told is to eat normally and just eat until you're satiated and try not to overeat. So that's what I have been doing. I feel like I feel like it's been working well. Like they say healthy weight loss is between one to two pounds a week and on average I'm losing about one pound a week. So it feels very, very, very slow, but I don't ever really feel unsatisfied for the most part. One thing that I do want to do is start incorporating more healthy meals. And when I say healthy, I essentially just mean like whole foods. I'm really trying to avoid identifying any one food group as unhealthy because for a very, very, very long time, I was like, carbs are evil and I can't eat them. And if I eat any, I'm going to blow up. And that's just not the case. What makes me gain weight specifically is going through cycles of restricting and binging, and I restrict and I lose weight, but then I binge more than I restrict, so I end up gaining more and more weight, so I just kind of have slowly continued to put on weight over my lifetime. So, I want to incorporate healthier meals, and I want to start not eliminating, but just kind of cutting back on my junk food consumption. I still consume junk food most days, just in smaller portions, so... For example, um, pre-made french fries, we do have some of those, or one day I think I had a corn dog, um, so just, you know, junkier foods, and I find that uh, it's just like I'm craving those things, and my nutritionist said over time I'll start to crave other, other things, but I think part of that comes down to putting other things in my body. I really love healthy foods. But I think at the end of the day, it's like extra prep time and having a baby. I only have one baby and then my nine, almost 10 year old niece lives with me. But it just seems like there is not enough time in the day, like even with one kid. So for those of you out there that have multiple kids or you are a single parent or you can't stay at home and you have to work and, and be there and take care of your kids, like hands down to you, you guys are amazing. So my goal this week is to prepare healthier meals um, with just whole foods. And then also I'm trying to get rid of some of those foods that I crave, not completely, but just cut back on them. So the product that I got is a um, protein shake. And I just keep seeing ad after ad after ad after ad for this protein shake. Um, I've always been kind of hesitant on buying protein powders because, like, I buy them and then they go to waste uh, because I don't like them. I'm very picky about the taste of a protein powder, so I decided to get this one because everyone says it tastes amazing and there's a money-back guarantee, so if I absolutely hate it, I'm not, like, wasting all the money like I have. I've probably wasted in my lifetime at least several hundred dollars on protein powder. So, this is the protein powder that I got. It is called Lady Boss Lean. And the flavor is vanilla cake. I don't think I don't think this particular brand has any other flavor. Um, but this one is vanilla cake. Everyone says it tastes really good. You can put it in just plain water. You can put it in almond milk, regular milk. You can mix it in your food. So like if you 
want to mix it in your oatmeal. I've heard mixing it in oatmeal is really good. Um, the girl who created this, I think her name is Kayleen or Kaylin. And she said that she had lost 40 pounds by essentially just making healthier versions of foods that she likes, like hamburgers and pizzas. And so she'd make like pizza quesadillas, things of that nature. And then after she started her weight loss journey, she started developing some products to help women lose weight. So this product is specifically formulated for women. And it's not just a protein powder. It's an all-in-one nutritional shake. And it's soy-free, RBGH-free, it's low in sugar, it's gluten-free, grass-fed whey, advanced formula, professional grade, enhanced absorption, a great source of fiber, non-GMO protein, no artificial sweeteners, and then it also has um, digestive enzymes. So that is the big reason why I was super interested in trying this protein powder is because it's not just protein powder, it's supposed to taste great. It has like all the nutrition that you need and the, the digestive enzymes. So after I had my son, I ended up having my gallbladder out and I can talk about that more in another video if you guys wanna know about it. But after I had my gallbladder out, my digestion, and after pregnancy really, my digestion is very funky. Like it is not how it used to be. I swear, and this might sound crazy, I'm going to talk to the gastro doctor about it, but I feel like my stomach is actually permanently higher than it used to be because I used to get like hunger pains in my stomach, and now when I'm hungry and I get hunger pains, I almost get them like in the center of my chest. Super weird. But anyways, back to this protein powder. One of the main reasons why I got it is because the nutritional supplement, I'm also anemic and this has iron in it. And then also um, the digestive support. So if it can help me better digest food and absorb things, uh, that would be amazing. So I'm going to read off what is in here as far as nutrition, like vitamins and things. I'm not going to read off the exact milligrams or units. I'm just going to say the da daily value per serving. So a serving is one scoop. And there's about 30 scoops per container. And each scoop is a hundred calories. There is one gram of fat, 0.5 of saturated fat, zero trans fat, three milligrams of cholesterol, 45 milligrams of sodium, um, seven grams of carbohydrate, two grams of dietary fiber, five grams of sugar, and 17 grams of protein. So for 100 calories, just those basic nutrition um, contents, that's pretty good. Now let's go on to the vitamins that are in it. So this is daily value, remember. So vitamin A is 25% of what you need in a day. Vitamin C is at 25%. Calcium is at 25%. Iron is at 25%. Vitamin D3 is at 25%, vitamin E is at 25%, vitamin B1, 25%, vitamin B2, 25%, niacinamide, I think I'm saying that right, is at 25%, vitamin B6 is at 25%, folic acid is at 25%, vitamin B12 is at 25%, um, biotin is at 25%. Actually, all of these are at 25%, so I'm just going to read the rest off. Um, pantothenic acid, phosphorus, iodine, magnesium, which if you guys didn't know, magnesium and potassium are really, really good for people that struggle with high blood pressure. I don't, but my significant other does, and so I've done a lot of research around it and magnesium and potassium are great for high blood pressure. And also, they always tell you to stay away from salt for high blood pressure, but that's just regular table salt. If you use a little bit of like good quality pink Himalayan salt, that's good for your blood pressure because there's lots of minerals. And then, sorry, but the last thing on here is zinc. And so all of those things for one scoop, 100 calories, 
you get 25% of your daily nutrition just from this for 100 calories. So if you did two scoops and did 16 ounce shake, that's 50% of everything that you need. Or you could do one eight ounce shake twice a day, or you could put a scoop in your oatmeal or whatever. So this says it has weight loss control, immunity support, cravings control, and digestive health. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully it will crush some of my cravings and hopefully it will taste great because it says, what does it say? Voted number one best tasting shake by Lady Bosses Everywhere. And just because it says Lady Boss Lean does not mean a guy can't use it. So it smells delicious, you guys. I had to open it and smell it. I haven't used it yet. And this is the scoop. And this is like the formula. Like, do you see how fine that is? Like a lot of protein powders are pretty thick and grainy, but this one's very fine. Like not quite a powdered sugar fine, but very fine. And it smells really good. So anyways, this is what I'm going to be trying. And when I do a taste test this week, I will go ahead and let you guys know what I think. Remember, I am very, very picky about the taste of protein powder. So if I love it, you'll know it's good. If I don't like it, you might still like it, but just know that I'm picky. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you guys have any suggestions for protein powder, because this one's, I forgot to tell you guys, this one's a little spendy. It's like $50 for 30 scoops, so it's kind of a lot. But if you guys have any suggestions for good tasting protein powders, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thanks, B-Squad. Bye.